we're going to be reviewing the inventory functions within SAP. Um, this is a quick overview of what we will be doing over the month. Uh, today, we're going to be doing an overview of the inventory process and setting up inventory. Next week, we'll be doing serialization of batches and warehouse management. The week after that, pick and pack and setting up pricing. And then the last week will be dedicated to MRP. Um, based on questions that come up, we may change that slightly uh, if there's uh, areas that we have to investigate more fully. But that's uh, the, the current plan for the demonstrations. So, so these are some of the business examples that we can uh, where SAP is uh, you're going to use the inventory fully. Um, your company makes, buys, and sells items that are stored in multiple warehouses. Uh, some of these items are managed by serial numbers and other back, others are batch managed. All of the items have multiple prices for various price lists uh, you use for different types of customers. In addition, special prices have been set up for certain customers. So there we're using the price module to its, its full effect. Sales items, in, uh, sales items are ready to be delivered and picked and packed by the warehouse personnel. And material management planning, MRP. Uh, is performed on items that you manufacture or purchase in order to maintain needed inventory levels or fulfill customer requirements. So we're going to start with the overview of the inventory process. Goods receipts are used to enter items into the warehouse. Additionally, some marketing documents in logistics can be used to receive items into the warehouse, such as the goods receipt PO in purchasing or the return document in sales. Inventory transfers are used to move items between warehouses. This is outside of the marketing documents. Good issues are used to move items out of the warehouse. Additionally, some marketing documents and logistics can also issue items out of the warehouse, such as a delivery note in sales or a goods return document in purchasing. In addition to this, inventory goods issues and goods receipt documents are typically used when there is no sale or purchasing process involved in the goods movements, for example, receiving samples of scra or scrapping damaged goods. So here's a visual view of how this process works together. You can see over